Today, I need to share something very important that will happen to you today. God is telling me to tell you that in the next seven minutes, something surprising and fascinating is going to happen in your life. In less than four minutes, you will start to see the signs manifesting themselves, so please pay close attention. Do not skip any part of this video, because it is God who is speaking to you, and He asks you to watch until the end. I beg you, do not ignore what God has prepared for your life, so that you do not regret it later. What He has in store is something extraordinary, something tailor-made for you. I know that maybe you have been through difficult times, or you may be facing a phase now where everything seems extremely heavy, right? It's like the world is pressing you down while you try to get up. But before continuing, I want to ask you one thing, don't give up. Not now. What you are about to hear could completely change your perspective, and perhaps forever transform the way you view the situations around you. When God's grace comes, I ask you, keep this secret until everything is ready. Because, as we already know, it is in silence that we can truly feel and witness God's work in our lives. And don't forget, whenever you hear a word that touches your heart, comment I receive, so that grace begins to manifest itself in your life. Now, tell me something. Have you ever noticed that some people, even when they do wrong things, seem to be luckier than others? It seems like they receive miracles more easily, doesn't it? And then comes that doubt. Does God bless those who don't deserve it? Or why do those who don't follow the right path seem to have more luck? while I, who try to do everything right, continue to face barriers. I'll tell you a truth, life is not a straight line, and God does not work like a bank, rewarding only those who make good bets. He is sovereign mysterious, and often even people who are far from his paths end up receiving blessings. But make no mistake, this does not mean that God is unfair. What he does is show, in unexpected ways, the power of his love and mercy. And therein lies the secret, Often, blessings come not because someone deserves more, but to reveal God's goodness in a way that the world can see. God can even use the lives of those who are in error to show that He is a God of miracles, who is not limited by human rules of judgment. So, don't think that He has forgotten you. On the contrary, every pain, every tear, every night of unanswered prayer, He sees it all, and what's more He is saving it for the right time. That time is coming. You will see that all the pain, all the battles, were worth it. Receive this grace now. I'll be even more direct with you. Sometimes it seems like our heart is full of expectations of receiving something great from God, but at the same time, our feet are tied to the ground of distrust. Faith must be like that of a child, who trusts his father even when he doesn't understand what is happening. Have you ever thought that perhaps the key to your victory lies in the way you believe, in the intensity of your desire, in the confidence that God can go far beyond what you are asking for? If you look at the Bible, you will see stories of men and women who experienced exactly this. Joseph was sold into slavery, spent years unjustly imprisoned, but never stopped believing. And in the end, he was elevated to a position of honor in Egypt. David before becoming king, lived on the run from Saul, faced battles, slept in caves, but never doubted God's promise for his life. These examples are not there to fill pages in a book, but to show you that the process is part of the miracle. You may be in a desert right now, but what you may not be seeing is that this desert is preparing you for something much greater. God does not work with shortcuts, but with processes that strengthen, shape and make us grow. And that's precisely why you can't be discouraged. When God promises something, he fulfills it, even if it seems impossible. Therefore, instead of looking at other people's victories as something unfair, start noticing what God is doing in you now. Your character is being worked on, your patience is being molded, and most of all, your faith is being strengthened. Now, I'm going to tell you something very special. We have prepared a tool capable of attracting prosperity and abundance to everyone who uses it. This tool has already helped more than 10,000 people and has the power to restore your finances. This tool is our new devotional, called God Tells You This Today. If you are here, listening to this, it is a sign that your time to act has come. Click on the link pinned in the comments and unlock the portal to your financial freedom with an exclusive price for a limited time. This is the opportunity you have been waiting for, embrace your prosperous future. Brother, sister, did you know that God wants to see you fulfilled? He placed dreams and desires in your heart for a much greater reason than you realize. God did not create you to live a mediocre life, without purpose or joy. He created you to be whole, to achieve your goals and to live the abundant life he promised. This means that the dreams you carry within you are not there by chance. That desire to undertake, to form a family, to be an instrument of change in someone's life, 
All of this has a divine purpose behind it. But I know how sometimes it seems like those dreams are far away, right? Maybe you've already thought about giving up because things aren't going the way you expected. And to be honest, maybe you've even asked yourself, does God really want me to make these dreams come true? I tell you, yes, he wants to. And even more, he is preparing you so that when that blessing comes, you will not only achieve it, but sustain it. Remember Job. He is the perfect example of someone who had everything, lost everything, and was restored. God allowed him to go through great suffering, he lost his family, his health, his possessions, everything. But do you know what the most beautiful part of Job's story is? Even in the midst of suffering, he remained faithful. He didn't understand why he suffered so much. I didn't know when it would all end. But he knew one thing, God was faithful. And it was this perseverance that touched the heart of God. Now let me ask you something, have you ever felt like you were in Job's shoes? At a time when it seems like things are falling apart, one loss after another, and no matter how hard you try, nothing seems to work out? I understand what you're feeling, and I know it's not easy. Sometimes we look at the sky and all we can see are dark clouds. We can't see the sun. But even if you don't see it, God is there by your side, working behind the scenes, preparing a victorious ending for your story. Receive this powerful move of God into your life now. And what to do until the blessing arrives? This is a question that torments us, isn't it? But I tell you, the answer is not complicated. The secret is, stay faithful. Remain firm in your faith, even when no one seems to notice your efforts. God is pleased with those who don't give up, with those who continue to do good, even when no one sees it. He sees that act of kindness that no one else has seen. He sees that silent prayer made in the middle of the night. He sees that forced smile, even when the soul is crying inside. This is not weakness. This is an act of faith. And it is this faith that will keep you standing while you wait for the miracle. Faith, after all, is the certainty of what is not seen, but is expected. And it is precisely in this waiting that our character is shaped, that we are prepared to receive what we ask for so much. But I will tell you a truth that needs to be told. Sometimes, while we are waiting, God is testing our patience and our obedience. He wants to know if we are willing to trust, even without understanding. And I tell you, it is in the test that we come closer to God. It's in pain that we discover strengths we didn't even know we had. And it is in waiting that we learn to be resilient. So no matter how difficult it is, stay strong. Keep fighting, keep believing that God's best is yet to come. Don't let the circumstances around you make you doubt the promises he made to you. Life may be trying to knock you down, but you have a God who lifts you up. Amen? Declare this with faith in the comments. I have a God who lifts me up. Now brother sister, God invites us to cast all our anxieties upon him. Yes, all. Sometimes life seems like a hurricane, and we get lost in the midst of so many worries and problems. But I want to remind you of something powerful, God is asking you to surrender all of this into his hands. Have you ever stopped to think about it? The creator of the entire universe, the one who knows exactly how many strands of hair you have, is asking you to surrender all your burdens, all your regrets everything that steals your peace. And do you know why? Because he is the only one who can truly care for you. The problem is that we often hold on to these concerns as if we were capable of solving everything on our own. But the more we try to work things out our way, the more lost we feel. And today, God is speaking to you in a special way. He is asking you to hand everything over to him. Think about it, what would it be like to live without this constant weight? The truth is, when you give your anxieties to God, something extraordinary begins to happen. He who is an expert in transforming tears into joy, sadness into dance, is ready to do the same in your life. Receive this transformation now. God is moving mountains right now. He is making all things new, opening doors that were previously closed, bringing you opportunities you never imagined possible. And he doesn't do it anyway. No. He is preparing the best for you, because he is a loving father, who knows every detail of your needs, every hidden desire of your heart. In Isaiah 61 verse 1 it is written, The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good news to the brokenhearted. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim release to the captives and the opening of a prison to prisoners. This word is alive and powerful, and today it is being fulfilled in your life. God wants to heal your heart, free you from everything that imprisons you, be it fear, anguish or any type of sadness you may be carrying. Now, I want to ask you something. Take a deep breath. 
Yes, do it right now. Drop that weight. Close your eyes and imagine that you are handing over each of your worries into God's hands. Imagine Jesus telling you, do not be afraid, I am with you. Feel this peace invading your heart, this confidence that you are not alone on this journey. Today, God invites you to open your eyes of faith and see beyond what the world is showing you. Because it is precisely in the darkest moments that we need to see beyond. Trust that God is preparing something much greater. Often, we focus so much on what is going wrong that we forget to look at what God has already done and can still do. And this is a powerful key in our journey of faith, gratitude. Have you ever noticed how gratitude has the power to transform everything? Even when things seem to be falling apart around us, being grateful completely changes the way we view situations. And it's not just a nice feeling. Gratitude is a true spiritual weapon. It opens doors, moves mountains and even calms the storms in our lives. So if you are going through a difficult time, I ask you, remember God and be grateful, even for the little things. Because even the smallest of blessings has the power to generate miracles. Let's be real, I know it's not easy to be grateful when everything is falling apart. When the bills are late, when the diagnosis is not what we expected, or when that person you love let you down. I understand what you're feeling, and I know it's difficult. But it is precisely in these moments of pain and difficulty that our faith is tested. And do you know what the Bible says? That without faith, it is impossible to please God. So even if the situation doesn't make sense right now, even if it seems like God is silent, keep believing. Maybe you're tired of waiting for a response. Who has never experienced this? We pray, we fast, we cry, and nothing seems to happen. But I'll tell you something, God doesn't forget any of your prayers. He is seeing every tear, every cry, and most importantly, He is seeing what is in your heart. And He will act at the right time. Sometimes God doesn't give us what we ask for because He is preparing something even better. He knows the desires of our hearts better than we know ourselves. So even if everything seems meaningless now, open your eyes of faith and believe that He is taking care of everything, even things you can't even imagine. And if you think that God has abandoned you, I want you to think about one thing. When was the last time you took a moment to talk to Him, without asking for anything? Without complaining? Just to say, thank you Lord? Often, we seek God only when the pain is pressing, when the situation is out of control. But isn't it time to do something different? God is not just an emergency solution, He is the most faithful friend you can have. Therefore I invite you, go to the comments now and leave a message of gratitude. Thank the Creator for everything you have, for what you have already been through, and for what you will still have. Do this, and feel how this feeling of peace begins to invade your being. Now perhaps you are facing health problems, whether in your body, mind, or heart. I know these times are difficult. It makes us feel discouraged, we start to question everything. And the worst thing is when the pain is not visible. People around you look at you and tell you everything is fine, but inside, only you know what you're feeling. It's like a constant battle, isn't it? Having to wake up every day and deal with something you didn't choose. But I want to remind you of something very important. God knows every cell in your body. He created you, and He knows exactly what you are going through. When we face health problems, it is natural to feel fear and insecurity. We often think, will this ever pass? Is God listening to me? And that's where faith comes into play. I know this is easier said than done, especially when the suffering is great. But it is precisely at this point that faith becomes a powerful tool. The Bible tells us that Jesus healed the blind, lepers, paralytics, and even raised the dead. And the same hand that touched these people is extended to you today. Now understand something. I'm not saying that your faith will make suffering disappear from one moment to the next. That's not how God works. He is not a magician who makes things disappear with a snap of his fingers. What he does is walk beside you, give you strength, renew your hope day after day. Healing can be gradual, it can be instantaneous, or it can even happen in ways you can't even imagine. But believe me, it will arrive. And while you wait, don't allow the pain to consume your heart. Receive this grace now. Remember what the Apostle Paul said in 2 Corinthians 12, verse 10. When I am weak, then I am strong. Sometimes God allows us to face these battles to make us stronger, more dependent on Him. It may seem contradictory, but it is precisely when we are weakest that God shows Himself strongest in our lives. He won't leave you alone in this fight. He won't abandon you halfway. And even more, God is not only concerned with your physical health, 
but also with your soul. Sometimes physical pain is a reflection of something deeper. Maybe there are resentments, traumas or wounds stored in your heart, and this is affecting you inside and out. Jesus is also the doctor of the soul. He is ready to heal the wounds that no one sees, to ease the weight you carry inside. Confess to him your most secret sufferings, those that you cannot even tell the closest people. He understands you, he hears you, and he wants to restore you completely. I know the path may seem long and difficult, but don't give up. Remember Job, who lost everything, even his health. He reached the lowest point anyone can reach, but he didn't lose faith. And in the end, God restored everything, and even more. This does not mean that you will receive double everything, but that God is capable of transforming the impossible into a great victory. He is a God who restores, who heals, and who brings new life where there seemed to be only darkness. Maybe you're wondering, what if I'm not healed? What if this pain doesn't go away? Let me tell you something, even if healing doesn't come the way we hope, God is still God. His goodness is not measured by what he gives us, but by what he has already done for us on the cross. Jesus has already paid the price for us, and this is the greatest proof of love we could receive. So, lift your head. You are stronger than you know, because God's strength is in you. Remember that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives within you. And if he defeated death, he can also give you victory in any area of your life. Declare with faith in the comments. Victory is already mine in Christ. Now, I want to tell you something that I feel strongly about, God is acting powerfully in your life. It is no coincidence that you are listening to this message. God has a plan, and he is opening three gaps that will transform your life once and for all. You know that expression about changing overnight? That's exactly what will happen. So, pay close attention, because what I'm going to tell you now could be the turning point you've been waiting for. The first gap that God is opening is that of liberation. And this is an essential gap, because without liberation, it is impossible to move forward. Many of us carry weights that seem to be attached to our bodies and souls. These are things that hold us back, pull us back. It could be an addition that seems impossible to let go of, a trauma from the past that still haunts you, or even resentments that you've held in your heart for a long time. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever realized how certain things hold us back in a way that we can't even explain? It's like invisible but extremely powerful chains. And the most interesting thing is that, often, these currents are not even that obvious. They may be disguised as habits that we already consider normal, thoughts that have become part of our routine, or feelings that we have learned to accept as if they were part of who we are. But here's the truth, it doesn't have to be this way. God does not want you to live in chains. He wants to see you truly free. When the Bible says that Jesus came to set us free, that's not just a nice phrase, it is a concrete promise, a spiritual fact. Jesus himself said in John 8, verse 36, If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. This freedom is guaranteed by him. It is not about our strength, but about the power of God acting in us. He is the one who breaks the chains that, alone, we cannot break. The liberation that God offers can happen in several areas of our lives. Some of us need emotional release where depression, anxiety and fears seem to dominate. Others need release in the mind, where thoughts of defeat and inferiority have become so common that they seem to be part of our identity. And there are still those who need spiritual liberation, where the enemy's attacks are real and constant. But I tell you, no matter what kind of chain is holding you back, God is powerful to break each one of them. Liberation also involves leaving things behind. Sometimes, in order for God to take us to a new level, we need to leave behind what is no longer part of his plan for us. It could be a friendship that takes you away from God, a job that takes you away from his purposes, or even a small habit that takes you away from his presence. God is calling you to let go of what no longer has a place in your life. And I know it's not easy. Leaving behind what is already familiar is challenging, but it is necessary. That is the price of true freedom. And sometimes the greatest liberation is from ourselves. Yes, we are often our own enemies. We create barriers in our minds. We sabotage ourselves because we are afraid of failing or because we think we are not good enough. But I'm here to tell you that God doesn't see you the way the world sees you. He sees you as his beloved child, someone of inestimable value. And he wants you to start seeing yourself the same way. This is one of the greatest liberations we can experience, seeing ourselves as God sees us. Receive that deliverance now, as God opens that gap in your life. Keep crying out, keep seeking, because deliverance is possible, it is real, 
and it is God's gift to you. If you feel like you need deliverance, pray sincerely right now. Talk to God as if you were talking to a close friend. Tell him what is holding you back, ask for the strength to release those chains and above all believe. God is opening that gap, and you will experience what it means to live truly free. Now let's talk about the second gap that God is opening, the gap of provision. God takes care of every detail of your life. He knows exactly what you need, even before you ask. Maybe you're going through a time of scarcity, feeling the weight of the bills that are piling up, looking at the refrigerator and seeing that it's more empty than full. I know how difficult it is to keep faith when everything around you seems uncertain. We feel pressured with no way out, and the only thing that comes to mind is, has God forgotten me? But listen to this, God has not forgotten you. He is the father who never abandons his children, even in the most complicated moments. God's provision is not limited to what you can see or calculate. He is a God of miracles, who multiplies little and makes more where it was previously lacking. Do you remember when Jesus fed 5,000 people with just five loaves and two fish? God's mathematics is different from ours. For him, there is no scarcity. He is the owner of everything, and can transform your reality with a simple act of faith. And this provision from God is not just financial. It is emotional, spiritual, and even relational. Sometimes we think that God's provision is only in the money that comes in or the bill that is paid. But that's not all. God provides when we feel that weight in our hearts and cannot explain where it comes from. And here's something very important that we need to understand about this gap. God's provision often comes from where we least expect it. It may appear in a job opportunity that you had no idea about, in an idea that comes out of nowhere, or even in someone who decides to help you without you asking. Have you ever noticed how, suddenly, things start to fall into place? God is a master at using the most unlikely means to bless us. But this requires something from you, confidence. Many times, we want to see the miracle before believing, but God calls us to believe before seeing. And it is in this trust that provision manifests itself. Receive this grace now. The provision gap is also about learning to rest in God. While you are there worried, losing sleep, God is telling you, Son, I am taking care of everything. Sometimes the biggest barrier to supply reaching us is our own anxiety. We want to control everything, resolve things our way, and this only adds weight to our shoulders. But Jesus said, don't worry about anything. He wants you to understand that his provision does not come from your effort, your ability or your contacts. It comes from him, who is the source of all blessings. Now, don't take this as a call to passivity. Trusting God does not mean crossing your arms and waiting for money to fall from the sky. God honors diligence, effort, and responsibility. It opens doors, but you need to have the courage to walk through them. If you are unemployed, look for opportunities. If you need money, be faithful with the little you have. God can multiply the little that is in your hands. Do you remember the widow of Zarephath? She only had a little flour and oil, but by trusting in the prophet Elijah, God multiplied all of this, and she and her family were not in need. This is what God does when we surrender the little we have into his hands. Receive this provision now. Another important point about this gap is recognizing the provision that is already happening in your life. Sometimes we focus so much on what's missing that we don't see what we already have. Give thanks today for the food on your table, for the roof over your head, for the clothes you wear. Gratitude is a powerful key to opening this provision gap even further. When you recognize and give thanks for what you already have, God rejoices and wants to give you even more. The Bible says that he who is faithful over a little will be placed over many things. Be faithful in the little things, be grateful for the little, and you will see God work in surprising ways in your life. God also uses this gap to teach us to be channels of blessings. When he blesses you, it is so that you can bless others. If you have a little extra, share it with those who have less. If you have received a financial miracle, be generous to someone in need. This is how the kingdom of God works, the more you give, the more you receive. It's not about negotiating with God, but about understanding his heart. He gives to us so that we can give to others. Now we come to the third gap, and as I already told you, this is the most impactful of all, the gap of total restoration. Maybe right now you're looking at your life and thinking there's no hope left. You may feel like you've already lost everything. Maybe you lost an important relationship, a marriage that ended, a years-long friendship that broke down because of hurt and disagreements. Or perhaps your dreams have been buried by frustrations, 
disappointments, or bad choices. Even injustices that you suffered along the way may have led you to believe that there is no way out. But listen to what I'm going to tell you now, God specializes in impossible miracles. He is the God who brings life where there was only death, joy where there was only sadness, and hope where everything seemed lost. Imagine a vase broken into a thousand pieces. To human eyes, it would be impossible to gather each fragment, place them in the correct place and remake the original piece. But for God, it is not so. He doesn't just put the pieces together, he creates a new vessel, stronger, more beautiful and brighter than before. And that's exactly what God is offering you today. He's not just repairing what's been broken, he's renewing, recreating and transforming. God's restoration goes far beyond simply repairing what was lost. He makes all things new. He is preparing something new and great for your life, something you can't even imagine. But here's something we need to understand. God's restoration begins within. It starts in the heart, emotions and mind. God wants to cleanse everything that is contaminated. He wants to remove the resentment, the anger, the fear, and put love, peace and joy in the place of those wounds. God's restoration is so profound that often after you go through it, you no longer recognize the person you used to be. You will look back and see that not only did the situation change, but that you were also transformed in the process. Sometimes we think restoration is only for what is in our sight, but God sees beyond that. He sees what no one else can see. He sees that hidden pain, the tears you shed in silence, the prayers you said alone in your room when no one was watching. God sees the trauma of your childhood, those harsh words you heard and could never forget, the wounds you carried for so long that they are now part of who you are. And it is precisely in these darkest places, where no one else can enter, that God wants to work. He wants to bring healing to your painful memories, he wants to free you from the emotional chains that bind you and give you peace where before there was only torment. And do you know what is most impressive about all this? God does not need years to restore what was destroyed. He can do it quickly powerfully, in a way that will surprise you. What you thought would take decades to resolve, God can transform in an instant. It's like a strong wind that sweeps away all the dirt at once, bringing a freshness, a feeling of freedom that you didn't even know you needed. Receive this grace now. If, as you hear these words, you feel hope growing in your heart, I tell you, this is the Holy Spirit confirming that this message is for you. So, believe in God's restoration. Don't let doubt, fear or sadness stop you from receiving this blessing. God is opening this third breach in your life, and what comes next is something big, something new, something that will take you to a level you never imagined. And to finish this moment, I want you to declare with me. I believe in the total restoration that God is doing in my life. Repeat this as many times as necessary, until this truth is engraved in your heart. God is restoring. He is acting, and nothing will stop what he has for you. Now, as we complete this journey together, I want to pray for you. Close your eyes, if possible, and receive this prayer with all your heart. Lord, I present the life of this brother and sister who are listening to this message right now. I ask that the Lord will open these three powerful gaps in their lives. The deliverance gap, the provision gap, and the full restoration gap. May the Lord change your lives overnight, bringing miracles, transformations and new opportunities. May the Lord in his infinite mercy, grant them the strength and faith necessary to continue believing, even when the path seems difficult. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. If you have been touched by this message, please share it with someone you know needs to hear it today. May God bless you richly, and we look forward to witnessing the graces he will bring into your life. Now, something very important that I need to remind you, when you click on the link in the pinned comments, you will access a page that uses the highest security technology. As soon as you complete the payment, your devotional will immediately arrive in your email. This devotional was created to guide you on a journey of restoration and transformation. So, if you want this change to be part of your life, purchase the devotional today. Comment below. I'm going to be part of this now. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. So whenever God has a miracle for your life, you will be notified immediately. And now look, a video recommended especially for you is appearing on your screen, like a window that opens to let in God's blessings. Play this video and receive even more of what the Lord has prepared for your life. Now that you have received this powerful message, allow God to continue acting in your life. Remember. Every word of faith you declare has the power to transform situations. Don't underestimate the power of your prayers and your thoughts. With every step you take towards God, He also takes a step towards you. 
Never forget that he is always by your side, even when circumstances seem difficult. Perhaps right now, you are still facing challenges that seem impossible to overcome. It could be a financial problem that seems to have no solution, a relationship that has broken down or even an internal battle, an emotional conflict that you have been carrying for years. I know how distressing it can be to deal with these issues, and sometimes it feels like we are alone. But let me tell you something important, you are not alone. God is with you every moment. He knows every one of your struggles, even the ones you've never shared with anyone. He understands the weight you are carrying, and more than that, he has the power to ease that burden. Jesus himself said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11 verse 28. This is a direct promise of relief and comfort for you, so trust and leave it in his hands. If at this moment you feel like you are carrying an unbearable weight, I invite you to take a break. Take a deep breath, close your eyes and give everything to God. Talk to him in prayer. It doesn't have to be a complicated prayer, just open your heart and say, Lord, I can't carry this alone. I commit everything into your hands, confident that you will take care of me. This simple attitude of handing your burden over to God can change everything. Sometimes we try to solve things in our own strength and end up exhausting ourselves. But when we learn to trust God and let him guide us, we find peace. And this peace that he gives us is unlike anything else. It is not a peace that depends on circumstances. It is a peace that passes all understanding, that comes from knowing that no matter what happens, God is in control. I also want to remind you of something essential. God's timing is perfect. Maybe you're wondering why your prayer hasn't been answered yet, why that miracle you've been waiting for hasn't arrived yet. But understand one thing, God is never late. He knows exactly what you need and when you need it. What may seem like a delay is actually part of his perfect plan to prepare you for something even greater. Do you remember Jose? He spent years as a slave and prisoner, unjustly. Everything seemed lost. He could have given up believing that God had a plan for his life. But Joseph remained faithful, and at the right time, God took him out of prison and placed him as governor of Egypt. What seemed like a period of delay was actually a time of preparation for the great mission that God had for him. This goes for you too. God is preparing something big, but first he needs to work on you. He is shaping your character, strengthening your faith, and teaching you valuable lessons that you will need when the time of blessing arrives. Don't be discouraged if things don't happen when you want them to. Trust that God knows what is best for you and that, at the right time, he will elevate you. While you wait, continue persevering in prayer. Continue seeking God's presence every day, because it is in your relationship with him that you will find the strength to continue. And remember, every small victory along the way is part of God's plan. Sometimes we are so focused on the big miracle that we forget to be grateful for the small signs of provision and care that God gives us daily. Take this moment to reflect. What are the small blessings that God has already placed in your life today? It could be the air you breathe, the food on your table, the hug from a loved one or even the opportunity to hear this message now. Be grateful for all of this, because it is these moments that strengthen your faith for the great miracle that is to come. And speaking of miracles, I want to encourage you to act in faith. Faith without works is dead, as the Bible teaches us. So if you feel that God is calling you to take a step of faith in some area of your life, this is the time. Maybe it's a new project, a decision you need to make, or even a request for forgiveness you need to make. Whatever it is, don't put it off any longer. God is calling you to act, and he promises to be with you every step of the way. If you feel like God is calling you to take action, do it right now. Maybe you need to pray for someone, or offer help that you have been putting off. Or perhaps God is putting in your heart the desire to get closer to him, to dedicate more time to prayer and reading the word. Whatever direction he is giving you, Trust that he has already prepared the way. Take that step in faith, and you will see how God will move mountains in your life. Now before we finish, I want to invite you to an action that can bless many lives. Share this message with as many people as you can. Don't keep this blessing just for yourself. There are many people around you who need to hear exactly what you heard here today. And you can be the instrument that God will use to touch these lives. Don't underestimate the power of a shared word of hope. When you send this message to someone, you are planting a seed of faith in that person's heart. And who knows through you, God may transform the life of someone who is feeling discouraged, without direction or without hope. Be a channel of blessing. Don't keep this message to yourself. Share, and allow God to use you to bless others.
And remember, as I mentioned before, by clicking on the link in the pinned comments, you will have access to our exclusive devotional, which was created to guide you on a journey of restoration and transformation. This devotional has already blessed thousands of people, and I believe it will also be a powerful instrument in your life. At the end of the purchase, the devotional will be sent directly to your email. If you're feeling like this is the time to act, don't put it off. Comment below, I'm going to be part of this now. I also want to remind you to subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell. This way, you will be notified whenever we publish a new message that can bless your life. God is constantly sending us words of encouragement, and you won't want to miss any of the miracles He has in store for you. And now, at the end of this video, a special recommendation of other content that God has prepared for you is appearing on your screen. Click on this video and allow the rain of blessings to continue falling on your life. May God bless you mightily. You have just taken an important step by listening to this message and reflecting on what God is doing in your life. Sometimes, the only thing that stops us from moving forward is the lack of a push, of a word that reminds us that God has not given up on us. Maybe you've felt this way lately, feeling helpless, thinking that things will never change. But today, I want to remind you that every promise of God for your life still stands. He is not a God of uncertainty. He doesn't make empty promises. God always fulfills what He promises, and He has wonderful plans for your life. Maybe you've been through so many struggles that it's hard to believe that better days will come, but I want to assure you that they will come. Believe this with all your heart, because what God has prepared for you is much greater than you imagine. Let's remember a powerful example in the Bible, Abraham. God promised Abraham that he would be the father of many nations, but the years passed and nothing happened. The promise seemed distant, impossible even. And Abraham, already advanced in age, could have given up, could have doubted that God would still fulfill his word. But he continued to believe. And at the right time, God fulfilled his promise. Sarah, who was already old, gave birth to Isaac, the son of promise. This shows us that no matter how impossible the situation seems, if God promised, he will fulfill it. Maybe the miracle you are waiting for seems distant, or even impossible to human eyes, but don't give up. Keep believing because the same God who blessed Abraham and Sarah is the God who is taking care of you now. And if he promised something for your life, he will fulfill it, regardless of how much time passes or how difficult things may seem. I know waiting can be difficult. Often, waiting leaves us tired, discouraged, and we begin to question whether God is really listening to our prayers. Maybe you've asked yourself, why haven't I received what I asked for yet? Has God forgotten about me? Let me remind you, God never forgets any of his children. He knows every detail of your life, and he is working, even if you can't see it. You know what's even more incredible? During the wait, not only is God preparing the miracle for you, but he is also preparing you for the miracle. He is strengthening you, molding your character, teaching valuable lessons that will make you grow and be ready to receive everything he has planned. And sometimes, it is precisely in waiting that we learn the most important lessons. Patience, trust, faith that doesn't waver. These are all qualities that God is developing in you while the miracle doesn't arrive. I want to encourage you to use this time of waiting to draw even closer to God. Often, we focus so much on what we don't yet have, that we forget to value what we already have. And do you know what is most precious to us? The presence of God in our lives. He is always with you, and this relationship with Him is the greatest blessing you can have. So, take advantage of this moment to seek God more. Don't wait for the miracle to arrive to get closer to God. He wants to walk with you the entire journey. He wants to be by your side at every step, guiding, strengthening, and showing that, even in the most difficult times, He will never abandon you. Get closer to God, and you will realize that, even before the miracle arrives, you will already be experiencing daily miracles as you feel His presence surrounding and sustaining you. Perhaps you are waiting for a healing, a restoration, a financial miracle, or even a new purpose for your life. Whatever you are hoping for, I encourage you not to give up. The answer is on the way, and God is preparing something much bigger than you can imagine. I like to think that often when it seems like God is silent, He is actually preparing a surprise. He is orchestrating every detail, aligning every circumstance, moving people and situations so that, at the right moment, the miracle reveals itself. And when that happens, you will look back and realize that it was all worth it. But in the meantime, keep trusting, keep persevering. Because God sees your faith, He sees your heart, and He is pleased with those who stand firm, 
even when everything around them seems to be falling apart. Your faith is what moves the heart of God. And even if circumstances say otherwise, continue declaring, I trust in God. I know that He has the best for me. And I know that my victory is already on the way. I want you now, to declare this out loud. It doesn't matter where you are. Declare with confidence. My victory is on the way. God is working on my behalf. And I believe He will fulfill every promise in my life. Make this statement as many times as necessary. Strengthen your faith. And as you do this, something powerful begins to happen. When you declare your trust in God, you are releasing His power to act in your life in an even more extraordinary way. Remember that God delights in blessing His children. He rejoices to see you fulfilled, prospering, living a full and abundant life. He wants you to be happy, to live the dreams He planted in your heart. Therefore, stay focused on Him, trust His timing and allow Him to continue guiding you. Every step you take toward God is a step closer to fulfilling His promises for your life. Now before we finish, I want to make one more request of you, be sure to share this message. What you have received today is precious, and there are so many people around you who need to hear it too. You can be the person that God will use to bring this word of hope, of healing, of transformation, of faith to someone who is going through a difficult time. Don't keep this blessing just for yourself. Share, and allow more lives to be reached by the power of God. Maybe you know someone who is struggling, someone who needs a word of encouragement, a light at the end of the tunnel. This is the opportunity that God is giving you to be an instrument in His hands. If you know someone who needs a miracle, share this message. Send it to your friends, your family, and pray that this word reaches the hearts of the right people. And finally, remember, God is in control. No matter how difficult things may seem now, He is already preparing your future. He has already written His story, and believe me, the end will be victorious. Because He is faithful. Because He loves you and because he always has the best reserved for those who trust in him. May God bless you abundantly, and may you remain firm in faith, knowing that your victory is already guaranteed in the name of Jesus. Have you ever reflected on how God acts in mysterious ways? Often, when we are going through difficulties, we cannot understand what is happening. Sometimes it feels like everything is out of control, like there is no way out. But I want to remind you of a powerful truth, God is always in control. Even when everything around us seems chaotic, He has a plan. He is in charge of every detail of our lives. Think for a moment about all the times you thought you couldn't overcome a situation. Maybe it was a financial crisis, a health problem, or even an emotional challenge that seemed more than you could handle. But somehow you managed to get through it, didn't you? Somehow, you made it this far. This was not by chance. It was God sustaining you, strengthening you and guiding you, even when you couldn't see. Now, imagine how many times he has delivered you from situations you didn't even realize. Maybe a door that closed, and you became frustrated, without understanding why. But later you realize that if that door had remained open, the path would have been much more difficult or painful. This is God taking care of you, even in times when we don't understand his actions. I know we often want quick answers. We want things to happen in our time, in our way. But here's something I've learned. God's timing is perfect. He sees what we cannot see. He knows the future and knows what is best for us. When we trust Him we are saying, God, I trust your plan. I know you are preparing me for something greater, even if I can't see it right now. If you are going through a phase where things don't make sense, remember that God is preparing something bigger for you. It may be that you are being shaped to receive something that you are not yet ready for, or perhaps you are still being prepared to deal with the blessing that God has to give you. The process can be painful, but it is necessary. And it is in the midst of this process that your faith grows, that your character is forged and that you become stronger. Think of a plant. Before it blooms, it needs to be planted. For some time, it remains underground, invisible to everyone's eyes. It is a silent but fundamental process. It is in the dark of the earth that the seed takes root, becomes stronger, prepares to grow and eventually sprout. So it is with our spiritual life. Sometimes we are in this phase underground, invisible, without seeing the progress that is happening. But it is precisely there, in this silence, that God is working. He is taking deep roots in you. He is strengthening your faith, preparing you to grow and flourish in due time. And when that moment comes, what God has prepared will be much greater than you could imagine. But to get there, you have to persevere. You have to trust the process and more than anything, 
Trust God. I know that sometimes the waiting is painful. Wait for the miracle, the answer, the relief. And while we wait, the enemy tries to plant doubts in our hearts. He makes us question, will God really fulfill what he promised? Am I worthy of this blessing? Let me remind you of something, God is faithful. He keeps every promise. He loves you in a way you can't even fully understand. And what he has for you does not depend on you being perfect. It depends on his grace, his mercy, his unconditional love. If today you are feeling tired, overwhelmed, thinking that you won't be able to move forward, I want to encourage you, don't give up. You are closer to your victory than you think. Often, it is just when we are about to achieve what God has prepared for us that the struggles seem to intensify. But this is not a sign that you should stop. On the contrary, it is a sign that your blessing is very close to arriving. Think of a woman about to give birth. The final moments before birth are the most painful, the most intense. But she can't give up, because right after this pain comes the joy of holding the baby in her arms. Likewise, the hardest struggles often come before the moments of greatest victory. It's when the pain seems unbearable that you are about to experience God's miracle. So even if things seem difficult right now, stay strong. Keep praying, keep seeking God, keep believing in His promises. Because He is preparing a victorious ending for your story. Your blessing is on the way. God is working, and soon you will see the results of this work. But in the meantime, allow Him to continue molding you, continue to work in your heart, so that you are ready to receive everything He has to give you. And here's a powerful truth. God will never give you a blessing that you are not prepared to sustain. He knows what you can handle. He knows every detail of your life, every weakness, every strength. And He loves you enough to wait for the right moment, the moment when you will be fully prepared to receive and enjoy the blessing He is about to give you. Trust this process. Trust in God. And once again, I want to encourage you, don't keep this message to yourself. Share with someone you know needs to hear this. Maybe you know someone who is going through a difficult time, someone who is losing hope. You can be God's instrument to bring this word to her. You can be the person who reminds that person that God has not forgotten them, that there is hope, that there is a greater plan. Don't underestimate the impact of a word of encouragement. What seems small to you could be what will change someone's day, or even life. Share this message, and allow God to use you to be a channel of blessings in other people's lives. You have been blessed to bless. And this is one of the most beautiful ways to live our faith. Also remember that you can continue the transformation journey you started today. The devotional we prepared was made especially to help you deepen this walk with God. It is designed to guide you through a journey of faith, healing and restoration, and it may be exactly what you need to keep your connection with God strong and constant. Click on the link in the pinned comments and get yours. This may be the next step you need to take to experience the full blessings God has for you. Finally, I want to remind you, your story is not over yet. The chapter you are living now may be difficult, but the next chapter may be one where God turns everything in your favor. He is the author of your story, and he has already written the ending. An ending of victory, an ending of hope, an ending of fulfillment. Stay strong, keep believing, because God's best is yet to come. May God bless you richly, may he strengthen your faith and may you very soon, witness the miracle he has already prepared for your life. And remember, God is in control. No matter what happens, he will never leave you. Trust him and continue walking in faith.